Oh my god, the queen literally just walked into our house and is cleaning off our counter. What is happening? Welcome back to the Ultimate Decades Legacy Challenge. I had so much fun in the first episode. If you haven't watched it, definitely go back and check out the first episode. We got started on our peasant farm with our Sims, Kenrick and Roslyn. And at the end of the episode, we did have our first baby, Jasper, who is gonna be our first heir, which is so exciting. We are currently in the year 1301. And so Jasper was born in 1301. He was actually born right after midnight on Friday. So he will be aging up into an infant on Saturday. So that is very exciting. And so for today's episode, we're mainly gonna still be focusing on grinding simoleons because this poor peasant family is really struggling. So without further ado, let's go ahead and hop in to today's gameplay. All right, so it is currently Friday morning at 6.17 a.m. and we are just gonna get these guys in motion. Also, I just wanna say I noticed in the first episode that my in-game sounds weren't working, but they should be recording now. So hopefully you guys will actually be able to hear some of the gameplay sounds during this episode, but, or maybe we don't want to because the baby is probably gonna be screaming, but we'll see how it goes. But we are just taking care of baby Jasper, giving him his morning breakfast. I wanna make sure that we do set our preference to breastfeeding and I do wanna switch us to cloth diapers. So we've done that. I can't remember if I've already done that at the end of last episode or not. So we've got that all set up. And so he should be good to go for the morning. These guys are just getting freshened up and then we definitely have to get to tending to the farm. I'll have Roslyn come and make us some breakfast. I still, I don't think we can make, I, we can't make any of these nice meals. What's really weird is it's saying we don't have butter, but she did make homemade butter. So for some reason that is not registering. And then it looks like, yeah, lots of other ingredients that we don't have. So it's probably just going to continue to be soup for these guys. Um, at least we can make pottage. Is that how you say that? Pottage with vegetables. So we'll just make a family size of that for breakfast. And Kenrick is finishing up his bath. Well, it looks like we've got another leak in our bucket here. So I'll have him repair that. And then we'll have him come out and take care of farm animals. And it looks like the shed could definitely use a bit of cleaning. So have him take care of all of that while Roslyn gets ready for breakfast. This is the tax collector. Let me pause real quick because when I play tested my mods, I was unsure. So this guy comes around. He is a tax collector named Reginald McCrook. And he says, well, 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 another household full of dirty peasants. Get used to my face because you'll be seeing me every Friday for the rest of your lives. So now turn out those pockets. You've got taxes to pay. And it says tax time. Hope you've got your money ready. And I'm confused because his last name is McCrook. So like, is this one of the things like when they call for like the telemarketers and want you to give a donation, like in the regular game, like, do we actually have to give him money or if we like give him money? I don't know. Actually, let me pause and I'm going to go read the royalty mod and then I'll come back and tell you guys what I found out and then we'll decide whether we're going to actually pay this man or not. So I just read the mod rules and it does say that if you have the peasant house lot trait, which I do, then a tax collector will come around every Friday. And so I guess the opposite is if you're playing as a monarch family, then you can actually use the tax feature to like collect taxes. But in this case, I think because we're a peasant house, we do have to pay this. So I will go ahead and do that, I guess. Hopefully this is not a bad decision but we'll go ahead and pay. And I'm not sure if like both Sims have to pay or if it's just the household. Okay, so we've paid our taxes. 
He said, that's it for this week, Kendrick. Remember to have my money next time too. And then let me check his inventory because we should have eggs. Let's see, so we have two hatchable eggs actually. We already have one incubating in the coop. And now it's actually almost summer. So I do want to get a little bit ahead and have them go foraging. Summer is blueberries and blackberries. Actually, unless they've used them already, I think we should have some in our refrigerator. So we do already have nine blueberries and it doesn't look like we have any blackberries. So I'm gonna go ahead and get some blueberries mapped out here in our garden. So we'll just do two rows of those and have Kenrick get started on planting. So I'm trying to learn from my mistakes from first the first season and try to get the garden going as quickly as possible so that will give us blueberries and then everything else will probably go dormant and then water everything and then let's definitely do another harvest even though technically we're not supposed to harvest again but i'm gonna do it for the money harvest those okay we need to spray for bugs as well and then one of the other things i do want to get them a bee box because one i want to start harvesting honey and then the bees will also help fertilize the garden and then let's go ahead and just sell all of that so that's 180 simoleons and 270 simoleons for the strawberries so oh my gosh guys we finally broke a thousand simoleons for the first time I want to see how much the bee box is going to be. So the bee box is 265 simoleons. I'm going to hold off on it for right now. And then I do still want to get the blacksmithing station, which I've been talking about for ages, but it's 875 simoleons. So I'm going to wait because we're actually going to have to get some infant stuff for Jasper tomorrow. So I don't want to put us in a situation where we can't afford the things that we need. And I think what we'll probably do is travel to one of the tavern lots because I did put down a can we milk the cow okay go milk the cow I put down in one of the taverns the blacksmithing station and a couple of items so maybe we can go to the community lot and travel to town let's see baby Jasper needs us do we have a dirty diaper I think maybe he's just hungry again yeah it's like 3 p.m. oh no it's a dirty now it's a dirty diaper Okay, so change diapers, so we'll feed him. Okay, and then for some reason the diapers don't automatically go into the hamper, so I'll just have to drag those. Okay, so he's happy. Maybe Jasper's good. Okay, her needs are good. I'm gonna send her foraging again until we get blackberries. I'll go ahead and send him foraging as well so we can try to get some blackberries. Oh no, if they both go foraging at the same time, it sends Jasper to daycare. Whoops. I didn't really want that to happen. Okay, Roslyn, did you get any blackberries? Blueberries? Oh, she did get... Actually, did we have blackberries the first time? I don't know, but we only got three. So we'll just put those here. Come plant. Okay, so we're already ahead on our summer garden. So that is good. water and then what did you get strawberries okay we don't need strawberries oh we can't sell them if we forge i wonder if we can sell them well we'll just keep them for food so i'll put those in the cupboard we got some spinach and acorns and then for the hatchable eggs let's go ahead and incubate and coop so i'll have him come over here and then it is getting late. We already have one egg incubating, but we can incubate up to three. And then sometimes these glitch out and go away, so it's really annoying, especially if I travel off, off the lot. So hopefully those will hatch before we travel, because I do want to travel. Once Jasper is an infant tomorrow, I want them to go to the tavern lot downtown. Hopefully we've got some eggs. Maybe I can have her just do yeah we'll do a big serving of boiled eggs that's what i've been having them pretty much survive off of for most of the gameplay so far before they go to bed we will definitely try for a baby i always forget to do that <laughs> i always forget uh, that's why i like playing live with you guys because you could remind me when i forget to do really important things like get pregnant with the next baby let's speed this up a little bit guys okay so justin will take care of him poor mom she can't get a break wait was it 
diaper again because I thought he needed to eat. I don't know. I can't tell. It's not doing the stinky diaper thing all the time. Here, go ahead and Kenrit, get you some boiled eggs. And then once Rosalyn feeds the baby, she can go to the bathroom and come finish her eggs as well. Can't even get a moment. Okay, baby's crying. Here, Kenra, can you come take care of the diaper for mom, please? Okay, change dirty diaper. Oh, Rosalyn's on it, actually. Did you... Here, let's go ahead. Woohoo. And that's 25%, so I don't know. We'll see what happens. I realized, too, in the first episode that we actually did have the little baby notification and I just totally didn't see it until she woke up the next day with the baby bump. Let's just go to bed because that baby's going to start crying and then we'll age up Jasper tomorrow. So I'll see you guys when they wake up or when the baby wakes up. Okay, so baby Jasper did wake up crying at 5.13 a.m. He did sleep almost through the entire night though. He did really good. So hopefully we'll see what trait he gets as an infant. Um, and if I think I'm gonna randomize it, so we're just gonna get the luck of the draw. I don't think I'm gonna be able to make a cake or anything, so I think we'll just manually age him up with MC Command Center. Okay, I guess Rosalyn has decided to go and have a bath, so she can do that, and then we'll get Kenrick woken up for the day, and we'll go ahead and age up baby Jasper. Okay, so Kendrick is awake now, and so let's go ahead and age up baby Jasper, and we are gonna have to do a death roll to see if he survives into the next age. Oh no, okay, he's sensitive. I thought that was intense. Okay, sensitive is still a little bit hard, but it's okay. He's gonna be a sensitive little bean, and that's okay. We're gonna love him for it. But first, we have to do the death roll. I keep forgetting about the death roll, so let me get the death roll out. And, or the, I'll get the dice out and we'll roll and see if he's going to survive to being an infant. I think it's like the birth one is like you roll for the mother and if the mother rolls one then she died giving birth and I think technically when Jasper was born it was 5, 10, 15, or 20 but we rolled an 11 so either way he was fine. So I think I think right now we're rolling in this column and so if he rolls a 12, 16, or 18 then he does not survive to become an infant. Um, I probably should have did this before I aged him up but I'm still figuring this out. So we'll figure it out together as we go. I'm going to roll for this one. I'm going to say if it's a 12, 16, or an 18 then he does not age up into an infant. But let's go ahead. I'm so nervous. Let's roll. Okay, so we rolled 11 again, which is what he rolled during his first roll, but he's safe. So it doesn't matter, even if I'm reading it wrong, there's not an 11 in either of them. So he is safe. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and hop into cast real quick and give him a little infant makeover, and then we'll be right back once he has his little medieval looks. Okay, so I have given baby Jasper his makeover, and he is so freaking cute, you guys. I literally only have like one outfit for infants, so I've gone ahead and just kind of put that in all his um, categories, and we did get a little infant crib here. So we are currently down to 612 simoleons, so it didn't cost too much, but that's what we've got. We are still going to have the little map that lays under him. That's not going to look very medieval. So that is kind of annoying, but it looks like he's actually quite hungry. So we're going to have mom go ahead and breastfeed him. And then I do want to have her do some tummy time, but she's going to need to eat probably before we do that. So we'll go ahead and get baby Jasper all fed. And then he's pretty much taken care of. So we'll just put him down in his crib he's such a little cutie you guys oh my gosh our little heir i love him so much so actually before i forget let's go ahead and mark his birthday on the calendar so it will be five sim days so he is going to age up on thursday so it should be one two three four five yes so this is going to be jasper's cake day and he'll become a toddler and then let's see, are we, do we have any moodlets to signify that she is pregnant? No. So let's just get some boiled eggs because we've already got those ready. And then I want to do some tummy time. So let's see, what are you, 
They're like obsessed with taking the trash out now for some reason. Oh my God, the queen literally just walked into our house. This was, this is Queen Lara Dresden. Is she coming to, the queen just walked into our house and is cleaning off our counter. Um, what is, what is happening? Um, I'm going to make this child leave because this child doesn't look like it is from this century. Um, so, uh, should we try to talk to the queen? Attempt to introduce oneself. Um, Madam Queen. Um, okay, Jasper, I believe, is screaming, trying to go night-night. Meanwhile, we are fangirling over the queen. Were we successful in our introduction? Uh, I did kind of want to play out trying to make our way into royalty. So uh, maybe, maybe that's what we do. I don't know if that was successful. Let's see. I think he got embarrassed. No, I don't know. Well, that was random. Um, now she's cleaning up. The queen's just gonna, the queen's just gonna hang out for a while. She just wanted a taste of peasant life. I don't know, maybe she's bored. Well, she is judging us. Uh, okay, well, not sure where to go with this, but the queen's just here, hanging out. Rosalyn, would you like to try to meet the queen? She's just here cleaning up for us. Attempt to introduce yourself. Maybe she'll like you, Rosalyn. Okay, why are you in the cupboard? Okay, my game has lost its mind. Rosalyn, could you please see yourself out of the cupboard? Thank you. Well, anyways, our baby is sleeping. I was going to do tummy time with him. This uh, was a bit of a surprise. I'm sorry, Queen Lara, but uh, we have lots to do, so... Um, we're just gonna send you home. If you could just go back to your castle, please. Okay. Maybe she doesn't want to go. Well, we're just gonna move along. Come harvest this garden, because we need money. And then I do want to travel. I'm gonna let Jasper sleep for a little bit, and then we're gonna travel to the town. I actually have one of the taverns. It's set as a residential lot because I want to have control over the Sims that are there, and I didn't make that many townies. I've been trying to make some over as the game populates some of them, but I don't want to have a bunch of like random non-medieval sims. So what I did was I set the tavern as residential and I'm going to try to use the club system from get together to create a couple of townies to bring onto the lot. So we'll test that out and see if that actually works really well for gameplay or not. Um, and if it causes any issues, then maybe we'll just have to change it back to an actual bar, but we'll do that as soon as she finishes harvesting. And then does anything need to be watered. I think it all seems fine. The summer stuff should start coming up in a couple of days. So I'm going to sell strawberries, 270 simoleons and carrots will make 180 simoleons. So we're up back up to 1,062. So we can actually afford our own blacksmithing station, but I want to wait. Let's see. How is Jasper do? I was going to say, where's Jasper? Here, uh, Roslyn, come just pick this up while Jasper gets a little bit of sleep. Wait, one of our chicks has hatched. So we got our first little chick born on the farm. Yay, our first homegrown animal. How sweet. On the same day as Jasper's birthday. So I'm going to go ahead and travel with the whole family and we'll just see how this goes because I'm not used to like staying on the lot so much. So I think it would be fun if we can get off the lot just a little bit. Um, so we're going to go to the Red Dragon Inn and we're going to bring the whole family. Okay, so I got the lot set up and working. I'm not sure if any of the other townies that I created are going to show up, but essentially what I've done is I've set this lot up as a residential and I moved a sim in. And so that way we can just come and visit this as if it's a community lot, but that way 
I don't have to worry about a bunch of random townies spawning if it were a bar because I just can't be bothered and I want to have total control over my game. So that's what I've done. I had to invite the sim over and knock on the door to get access. But we actually built this lot on my Twitch stream one night. It was super fun. We wanted it to look like a medieval marketplace. So we had like the produce stand, the fish area, a area where they're baking fresh bread. I actually do have the marketplace table from Jungle Adventure set up here, but for some reason I haven't been able to get it to work. So we can continue to try that. There is a little well. And then what I'm gonna have Kenrick do is start working on his skill with this blacksmithing station since we haven't bought our own yet, but I wanna at least have him start working on that skill. And then on the inside, I'll give you guys just like a real quick tour. On the first floor, this is actually a functional object where they can make um, fabrics and things like that. It is a functioning loom. Um, it gives you these like rolls of fabric. I actually haven't found it to be like that lucrative of a skill, so we probably won't do that one. But Roslyn will just be in here in the tavern. Um, doing some tummy time and taking care of baby Jasper while Kenrick does his blacksmithing. And then there are two little bathroom areas here. This is where the tavern is, so we could hire a vendor if we wanted it to actually function as a bar, I think. Um, yeah, we could hire a mixologist. And then upstairs, it's set up as if there were rooms to rent. And so there's just a couple of spaces. I have one room set up for an entire family, including an infant bed. So if we have to stay the night here, we can, because I think in, you know, back in the day, it would have taken them quite a long journey to get to town. So they might would stay the night. And then there's just a little dining hall area with um, a stove and things like that. That's got stuff that you can cook. So I may have to give them the always welcome reward trait just so it will let them like cook and stuff here just because I have set it as residential it will kind of like mess things up but we'll see what we will do to function it but I did create a group called medieval townies and I did start the gathering but so far I don't think I've seen anyone show up so that may not work but I would love to see like a couple other like townies like hanging around but we'll kind of play around with what we can do as we kind of go through the let's play and find ways to like make it more fun and have more people around but I'm gonna let him start working on that hopefully him banging on that is not too loud and then I do want to make sure that Rosslyn comes in here and it does some tummy time with Jasper he is such a little cutie Okay, so we're gonna do some tummy time. I don't, wait, no, don't go put him in the bed. Okay, I guess we're gonna say we rented this room. What are his needs? Okay, he's actually quite hungry, Rosalind. So let's go ahead and feed him. Make sure we're taking care of baby. Feed him, and then he is actually tired, so maybe we should put him down for a nap, actually, and then, I could potentially, do we have anything? Oh, we don't, let's see, do we have anything in our inventory? We do have some like gardening stuff. I can see if it will let us stock the marketplace table. And then I don't even know if anyone will show up. That might be an issue with making it residential, but you should be able to sell from any lot. So we're just gonna test a couple things out together and see how it goes. We've rented this room. So go ahead and put, let's put Jasper to sleep because he is quite tired. Oh, I love him in his little medieval outfit. It's the cutest thing. Oh, yeah, in his sleep, he's got a little hat that we've got. It's like a coif, I think is what they call it. I don't know where Kendrick has gone. Oh, wait, there was Angela the herbalist. She showed up. Well, I guess she was just passing through. Okay, so I'll have him continue to work on his blacksmithing skill. Rosslyn, come stock this table. See, I keep getting this message that the table has run out of space. I've tried moving it around. I've tried resetting it. I've tried doing all kinds of things. This is the only lot I've tried it on, but I don't know why it's not working. I've tried it with all kinds of different items it's not working okay it's really annoying because i really wanted them to be able to sell at the marketplace 
but it's fine. I'm just going to have her go upstairs and cook a soup for them for tonight. Technically, um, Simple Living is not on here, so we'll just do pottage to not do anything that we can't normally make. And then let's see where Kenrick is on his skills. He is like halfway level one, so it takes a long time to build the skill. And in inventory, we basically have these items that we get from woodworking that we can then use to make larger items. So I'm just gonna speed through that a little bit and zoom out so the sound's not so loud. Um, okay, so he built that skill a little bit, but let's go ahead and get ready. I think we're gonna stay here for the night to make it seem really realistic, like they had to go into town. Okay, Jasper's sleeping, so let's go ahead, call to meal and eat with Kenrick. So they're just gonna have a nice dinner and then we are gonna get ready for bed and then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna subtract 50 simoleons from them as if they paid a fee to stay at the inn for the night and then tomorrow they will start their long journey back home, back to the farm. Okay, so these guys have just arrived home from a pretty long journey, so they are quite tired and are gonna get settled in for the night. And then we're just gonna get back to it. And we're at about a thousand simoleons, and so we're just gonna keep going with the garden. I think at this point I might consider getting the blacksmithing station for Kenrick so we can continue building that skill, but they are just really happy to be back home from downtown Windenburg. So they're quite hungry after their long journey. So we're gonna go ahead and just put Jasper back down and go ahead and have Rosalind make them a really nice stew. It is a quite a rainy day, so these guys might be stuck inside for the night. So we're just going to do a little bit of tidying up around the house. Let's see, Kenrick. Um, we are going to have bills tomorrow, but I think we'll be fine because we're going to have the harvest for tomorrow, hopefully, because we're gonna, right in between seasons. So hopefully we get one more harvest because I'm going to go ahead and get the blacksmithing station. So I'm just going to put that he right here for him, and then he can start working on that. So while... Rosalind gets dinner ready. He can go start working on the blacksmithing station because I want to see what more he can make as that skill is built. And then let's see, Jasper's also getting hungry, so we're going to have to feed him. Okay, so we just got a gold ingot. And so currently he's got a steel ingot a silver ingot and two gold ingots. So I believe we'll be able to use those to craft other items as his skill builds because it would be really nice if he could like make swords and stuff. I have no idea if that's like the way that the mod will work, but I'm assuming he's going to be able to make like actual objects. So let's go ahead and call Kendrick to eat. He can work on blacksmithing later. And then we do need to clean out the animal shed, I think. Yeah, and we need to put feet in there, so we definitely need to take care of the cow, so she does not run away. So I will catch up with you guys after these guys finish dinner, and then we'll do some chores for the day. These guys are done with their breakfast, and so Kenrick's gonna get everything ready for our Jersey cow who still needs a name. So if you guys have any name suggestions, definitely drop them in the comments. Otherwise, I'm just gonna leave them unnamed for now. And we're gonna need to clean our Jersey cow. He's gonna refill the feed. Baby Jasper is sleeping, but he is quite hungry. So we may have to wake him up. And then let's see, the house is a mess. So we need to squash that spider. I'm just pretending these are spiders. <laughs> And I think we'll go ahead and wake up Jasper. We still don't have a moodlet that she is pregnant. So I think I'm going to just do a pregnancy test this one time just so we know. Oh, baby Jasper. And then we definitely need to do some tummy time. Okay, the trader is here. I wonder how much those ingots would sell for. We should try to test that. Let's see. 
trade, sell items. Okay, we'll finish with the cow later. Oh, those are actually really good, buddy. So even before we craft anything, yes. Okay, let's sell all of these because we can just make more and build a skill. That's 810 simoleons. Okay, we should have started doing this skill a long time ago if I would have known that. Okay, go fiddle around because I think... Yeah, the shed is fine. We just still need to clean the cow, so I need to remember to do that. We probably need to come collect the eggs. I think we might have lost our other two eggs that were incubating in the coop, which is really annoying, but that's okay. But now we definitely, we can just keep working on, definitely keep working on blacksmithing, and that is going to be... <laughs> our claim to fame. So Kenrick, hopefully his goal will be to become a max skill blacksmith. Okay, the queen is over here again and now she's cleaning our tub. I don't understand. But Kenrick is going to need a bath later. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just send her foraging while the baby's okay see what kind of ingredients we can get from that okay let me see what else we could actually do with this mod so she can go hunting foraging go for a stroll oh they can go for a stroll together that's really cute that'll be cute once we have the kids maybe um they can go out to pick let me have her go out to pick flowers because i bet she'll come back with flowers and one of the things i was thinking was we could actually plant some flowers as well um, I probably won't plant those in the actual garden. Jasper is crying and mom is out picking flowers. So let's cuddle. Oh, he fell back to sleep. Okay, he fell asleep. So that's good. Let's sell this fertilizer. We are up to a thousand simoleons again and we have our blacksmithing station. So I'm just going to have him. Uh, wait, why? Can't... Yeah, fiddle around. So fiddle around will give us ingots and then. Oh my God, what it. What is happening? We are holding baby Jasper while we blacksmith. Oh gosh, I don't think that's safe. Um, I don't think that's safe, but let's go put Jasper back down inside, please. Oh, this feels like probably realistic. Mom's out picking flowers. Dad's got a blacksmith. Oh no, what's wrong with him? Okay, he's just really sleepy. So try to go night-night. Yeah, just try to go night-night because you need rest. And then here, Kenrick, come back to fiddle around. Okay, Rosalind has been gone for a while, but she's about to be back. Oh my gosh, we have a moodlet that she escaped a bear. That bear got a little too close for comfort, but Rosalind made it out without a scratch. Oh my goodness. What did we get? We got a crocus, I think is how you say that. An orchid, which is quite quite expensive winter and spring we'll save that orchid and a bonsai but 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 we can uh, it'll feel like cheating but if we can plant that orchid we could actually make quite a lot of money from that and maybe she can get into flower arranging and selling flower arrangements okay Rosalind come wake up baby Jasper she's quite tired too I haven't done a pregnancy test yet at this point I might as well just wait um wait hold on is he does he need a bath or is a diaper change yeah it's a diaper change so let's do that and then mom desperately needs a bath still no moodlet that we are pregnant but she got a lot of good moodlets from going out and foraging for flowers so we'll just hold on to those until they're in season. She's gonna have her bath because she is really stinky. She's also really tired. We're just gonna have some of the leftover boiled eggs for dinner. He's gonna get some dinner and then I'll see you guys when these guys wake up in the morning and we will be ready for the start of the next day. It is now the next morning and I'm getting Rosalind up because Jasper is screaming for some milk and so we're gonna go ahead and feed him and then her hunger and bladder are very low from the night. We don't have a pop-up that she's pregnant yet 
but I think I'm gonna go ahead and just do the pregnancy test now because I have no idea how long the game would take on its own to tell us if she's pregnant. So I'd rather just know now and get that underway. And then we definitely need to do some laundry because now the laundry is starting to stack up on the floor. So we need to take care of that. But I think now with the blacksmithing skill, we have a lucrative way to make money. So between the garden and the blacksmithing, we should be well on our way to not being super poor. And maybe these guys can eventually even get out of the peasant class. Okay, so Jasper should be fine, even though he's crying. She's super hungry, but I am... Here, we'll just get some of these eggs that are left over. There is, okay, one serving left after this. I kind of want to move their table inside too because I'm getting kind of annoyed with them continuously going outside to eat. So I think we can probably um, get them something indoors. Okay, and Kendrick is now up for the day. He really needs a bath, so let's just start him with that while we still got water. Why does she want to, why is she so tired? I guess she didn't sleep very well. Why is he fussy? Okay, he's trying to go night night. Oh my god, there's clothes everywhere. We definitely need to do the laundry. It's piling up. Okay, and let's just go, wait, we don't even have the option for a pregnancy test now so that seems like not a good sign i think we're gonna have to have them woohoo again they've woohooed twice oh no i'm gonna have her repair the toilet because i imagine everyone was a little bit handy during this time not just the men so she can i imagine that when the toilet breaks it just means that the chamber pot is full and like needs to be emptied so that's what we'll say. She's going empty the chamber pot. This house is a mess. So let's go ahead and do laundry, wash in the wash tub. I hope she'll pick up these, yeah, pick up these piles. Okay, so we'll go get laundry done. And then usually it's clean pretty quick. So if you just check hang on clothesline, yeah, it says it's clean. So you can just like cancel it out and then they'll hang it up and you don't have to wait for like the whole interaction because it takes forever so good that's done Rosalyn come here and feed Jasper oh my god this kid is always hungry I swear okay breastfeed and we really need to get pregnant the struggle is real and then let's go ahead and give him a bath I think I have a bath override so it will look more realistic but I guess we'll see Nope, actually, I guess I don't because it's still the same one from Growing Together. The sponge is an override, but I guess he's still in the little bath thing. Wait, hold on. Oh, first bath unlocked. I thought it, we were getting the pregnancy notification. Okay, Jasper should be very happy. So let's, yeah, put him down. I want you guys to try for a baby. Does it even let you with like the infant in the room? I don't know. I guess it does. And then I'm going to just take a pregnancy test because I don't have time to wait. I mean, I want to wait to end the episode. She's pregnant again. Okay, come take a pregnancy test. Dun, dun, dun. She's pregnant! Okay, I'm sorry I cheated, but I just, like, it was taking way too long. Yay! Okay, take a nap. So I know not a lot has happened in this episode, but we did make some progress. We got the blacksmithing station. We finally broke over a thousand simoleons. We're finally pregnant with baby number two. And Jasper is well on his way to being a healthy toddler and hopefully he survives again. So we'll just keep trucking along. If you guys have any fun gameplay ideas from doing your own Ultimate Decades Challenge, definitely let me know in the comments. I feel like this is a challenge that gets a little bit repetitive, so I would love any exciting, fun ideas to like mix it up and to make it more interesting. But I'm having a lot of fun playing in this medieval themed world and I can't wait until the next episode. So if you like, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.